January 30th. It's a little after 7 a.m. I'm out on the Bellamy Reservoir. It's about 20 minutes from my house. So it's raining today and the pressure is 29.9 and falling and I figured I'd come out and see if the fish were going to bite. And uh, that looks like they are. Uh, well, it's not really much to write home about. Crappy's crappy, I guess. The place I'm fishing today is local water supply for the city that I live in. It's got a, has a good crappy population. And they seem to be hungry this morning. And so I figured I'd come out and try to pick up a few and try to get some more video. About 37 degrees, it's pretty warm. Everybody's really nervous about the ice, but we have another cold front coming right in behind this. I think we're gonna be fine. I don't think we have anything to worry about. I'm not worried, 12 inches of ice under me right now. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get some more footage today and put together another video for you. Like most ice fishermen, we prefer to fish falling pressure and dreary days. It's really good ice fishing weather. The fish always seem to bite. And there are less fishermen out. Right now I'm fishing with a four and a half millimeter tungsten jig tipped with spikes and uh, in a minute here I'm going to switch over to plastics and see what that does because these fish don't seem too interested in what I'm doing right now so I think I'll do that and try to get some more footage got him Feels like a crappie. Yes, it is. Nice crappie. 
puppy. You know, when you're fishing finicky panfish like this, you want to try every little combination that you can possibly think of. Combinations on your bait, combinations on the, your technique, and your cadence, height above the fish, and sometimes you have to bounce it right off their heads for them to bite it. Other times you want to be four, five, six, even eight feet above them before they'll come up and, and chase it and eat. You just want to try out different combinations and see what's going to work. That's what, kind of what I'm doing now is just playing around with them and seeing what gets their interest the most. You know, sometimes you, they want it when you're on the drop, and sometimes they want it pulled away from them. And just try different things and, you know, see what what gets them. Sometimes they don't want a pound. Sometimes they just want a, a subtle jig. Depends on your bait. And depends on the mood of the fish. Like, now I'm doing just a subtle jig, and I've got a bunch of fish coming up off the bottom. After my... And there we go. See, you just... You don't know. Feels like a good bluegill right here. Pumpkin seed, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Nice one. Right there. Catch these all day long. I'm not keeping any fish today. That's a beauty, though. guys this is the prototype plastic that I'm fishing can't really see it too well there but I'm really hoping that Scott puts these out for sale because they work really good Hungry today, Randy. Are they hungry today? You getting any?
quite sure what this is, but it's big. Could be. It's either a bass or a hornpout. Oh, a pickerel. Could be a pickerel. Ah, oh, he broke me off. 